mostly known for tourism, as Zanzibar is, but with an active pension fund. Can you tell us more about your institution um, and your investment strategies uh, that should be of, in of interest to international investors, please? Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. First of all, I, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Abdul Wakil Haji Hafiz. I'm uh, Managing Director of Zanzibar Social Security Co Fund. Well, I would like to take some minutes just explaining about Zanzibar before explaining about my institution and investment. Um, I'm coming from Tanzania, in the island which is called Zanzibar. This island, it constitutes of two islands. One is called Unguja and the other one is called Pemba. The population of this island is about 1.4 million people. The scheme was established in 1998 by the Act Number no. 2 of that year. The main objective of this scheme is to replace income of those people for the retirees. When, when the workers get older they, when, and they retire, they are getting pension and gratuity until the end of their life. This is the main objective of this fund. The main function that we are having is the one is to collect contributions, and the second one is to invest the fund which we are collecting, and the third one is to keep records, and the other one is to pay benefits to members. In, that, in, the, in those four areas, the main function that we are taking place is that, that, that we are now doing is that of paying benefits and the other one of investing. For the time being, we have invested almost um, 59 billion, uh, million US dollars in the different areas. For example, in the area of money market and some of this um, fund we have invested in real estate, stock market, and uh, other emerging market. Well, the strategy which we are mainly used is we are putting more priorities on uh, investment on, w on the area of uh, minimum risk. And we, 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 most of the time, we are, we are emphasizing on PPP, public-private partnership. You know, the fund, the fund, the scheme itself is not big enough. It doesn't have much resources. That is why we are strategically, we are emphasizing on private-public partnership. For the time being, we have some project which is in the pipeline, which include one project of uh, um, improving the Zanzibar port, and the other one is uh, construction of uh, mall and conference, conference center in the Zanzibar stone town. There are other small projects that we have now undertaken it include construction of low-cost houses for the members and diasporas for Zanzibaris who are staying outside. Partnership. You know, Zanzibar is a new destination for tourism. It had just started early 19, uh, 1980s. The investment so far is not, is not well, we have, we have not invested much in this area of tourism, but uh, there are some hotels which have now been built of international standard. But most of these hotels, they are built by locals and some by foreigners, especially from people from uh, Italy. But on top of that, there is a need of increasing investment in this area. So as the number of tourism, it keep on increasing day by day. So the need for PPP can never be avoided. But the main problem that we are facing is uh, the, the Zanzibar Social Security Fund is a government institution. It has got a priority under the government plan. And there is a need also to take a, to take a to, to strategize in accordance with the government strategy toward the development of the country. At the same time, we are trying to collaborate with these private people in the area where we feel that the ZSSF, it is quite impossible by itself to invest uh, to, 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 to invest itse itself. So it needs some amount of resources from outside. When you look on the portfolio, 
we are only allowed to invest on the real estate and other emerging market on, on the tune of 40% uh, uh, of our resources. And the remaining portion we are investing on um, treasury bill and bond and sometime in fixed deposit from different banks. From, from this amount, 40% that we are having, is where we are trying to find out other investor who can join hands with uh, this scheme so that we can invest together. So we are trying our level best to balance the amount, minimum amount that we are having to join hands with the private investors from inside and outside Zanzibar. Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.